When a dispatcher gives an officer a 211 call, it means that there's a robbery in progress. On July 31, 1991, Officer Sterling Smith had just finished assisting at a traffic accident and was back on patrol near Bakersfield. What Officer Smith did not know at the time was that he had placed himself squarely in harm's way. On July 31st, 1991, a man enters a discount store in a shopping center in Oildale, near Bakersfield, California. He walks unnoticed through the store. The man checks to see if anyone is watching. Moments later, he makes his move. He draws a weapon and walks rapidly to the checkout counter. Before the startled employees and shoppers can react, he starts yelling, demanding all the money in the cash register. Shut up! Just shut up! Stay right there! Come on, give me the money! He tells the terrified cashier to put the money in a bag that he slams down on the counter. Everybody, stay right there! Stay right there! The woman complies, and the suspect runs out of the store with the money. An employee phones police as one of the witnesses goes after the robber. Okay. Call 911. I'm going to go after him. CHP officer Sterling Smith, who is on patrol nearby, hears the 211 call from CHP dispatch. Smith immediately drives to a spot where he can watch the robber's possible escape routes. Where are you going? Let me in, let me in. Clutching the stolen loot, the suspect races to a car where an accomplice is waiting. But she panics and refuses to let him inside. Now the suspect is forced to flee on foot. The witness who chased the robber sees the patrol car and gives Smith a quick description of the suspect. Alerted by the radio call, a Bakersfield motor policeman is already en route to back up Officer Smith. Moments later, Smith spots the suspect running on a nearby road and advises CHP dispatch. Communications, I have a suspect in sight. He is running northbound footbell towards the center, and the vehicle is going, I'll be in pursuit of the suspect. As CHP and motor officers close in, the suspect runs himself into a dead end, a chain link fence. In desperation, the armed robber tries to climb the barrier. The arriving officers shout at the suspect to drop his weapon. Drop the gun! The suspect responds by aiming his gun at the officers, who are forced to fire in self-defense. Go for it! Shot fired. Nice shot fired. Suspect down. 1199 shot fired. Pearson Gilmore. Suspect down. As Officer Smith covers the suspect, the motor officer removes the handcuffs from his belt and secures the suspect. Officer Smith requests an ambulance, while the other officer checks the suspect's vital signs. Later, paramedics transport the suspect to Memorial Hospital, where he is pronounced dead on arrival. The suspect was later identified as 35-year-old Robert Eugene Purcell. At the time he attempted armed robbery, he was wanted for parole violation. He had 15 prior arrests with eight convictions, ranging from auto theft to kidnapping.